On the ice now, a team that paired up together after the Olympics in Sochi. Here's Elena Ilyanik and Ruslan Zhiganshin. And Elena was a bronze medalist in Sochi, who are in her partner split up. And these two paired and won the Russian championships. Had a tough season last year, did not qualify for Worlds. Oh, reminded me a little here of Davis and White and uh, their short dance at the Vancouver Olympics. I think this team is really trying to fulfill their potential. They have a lot of uh, credibility and she absolutely has a lot of star power. And last, th last season, things just didn't quite come together for them, but hopefully this season they can turn it around and, and bring things up. Really showing great character throughout that step sequence. We talked about how difficult it is to be precise on your edges. It's even more difficult to then show your character at the same time. Very nice unison through that twizzle sequence. It's so hard to maintain the same rate of rotation as your partner, and if you pay too much attention, then you're going to mess up your own turn. bit awkward moment into that lift band and slowing down quite a bit yeah the entrances to their lifts are looking a little bit labored in this program and I'm noticing as well a lot of just skating hand-to-hand -hand, doing their crossovers to get their speed that is one thing that the judges will be looking at is how they're connected throughout the program Very important for ice dance teams to skate within each other's arms, to use dance holds, to differentiate themselves from the pairs competition, which is mirrored skating and hand in hand. We talked about height difference, and this is another team where they are a little bit closer in height. That will play into uh, making some of the lifts a little bit more difficult for them, especially early on in the season and certainly they'll be working hard to get those as easy as possible, to appear as easy as possible. Then. Elena Ilyanik, Ruslan Zhiganshin of Russia. What do you think, Ben, seeing this program, their debut here on the uh, Senior Grand Prix 
What do you think? I think this program has potential. It's got great character. For the most part, I like the choreography, but they really need to put in some time and really work it so that their stamina is up to par. We will come back to Chicago and find out what the judges think after this. Waiting for the scores now for Elena Ilyanik, Ruslan Zhagonshin. Ben, Ruslan has had a bit of a knee injury. They had to withdraw from the Nebelhorn, a preseason event, so making the debut here. But this did look rough around the edges. It really did, and, and you can tell that they just have not had the amount of time to prepare as they would normally have. They don't quite look in shape for, for the competition. And um, like I said, I think that the material could be good for them, and it's a great vehicle for their personality. She can really shine in the character, and, uh, but man, they need some more run-throughs, more mileage. So important for these ice dance teams. The Olympics is around the corner, just over a year away, and as you can see, uh, third in the free dance, a mark good enough to give them a total of 165.16, so they are second overall at this point with three teams still to see.